Hey, we're going to go to Vegas shortly to look at the latest in tech gadgets. Before we do, though, Dickie, you've yes, been renowned for carrying a couple of phones in yeah. your time. I, I do. Particularly a BlackBerry. <laughs> Indeed, I do. A BlackBerry? There is some breaking news today regarding BlackBerry's future. Wear it with pride. Um, I don't even know what they look like anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dickie, uh, what do you mean? Appa apparently <laughs> they're done. It's a brick. It's the end of Blackberries. What do you mean it's the end of Blackberries? They're going to be obsolete. Turned off. No more. Turned off? Wow. What are you going to Keep do with that? that one on. You should well, frame I've got it. Both it's a bit of a relic. It's not a relic, it's my <laughs> phone. <laughs> not the only person. Still serving. I missed the memo that said you weren't allowed to use it anymore. I've got, I've got the iPhone as well. Yeah. They've both Best got both different worlds. roles. Yeah. One's encrypted. <laughs> Won't find out what's happening on that phone. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Protected it is a bit dodgy, I don't know how you mentioned it. It's great, get it fixed. Mm. Anyway, okay. we'll get you all the latest on the new tech Thanks. gadgets that might replace the Blackberry. Thanks, John. At some stage soon. Fingers Thank crossed. You, it is the largest tech show on earth. A geek's heaven in the heart of Sin City. Despite a looming COVID threat, major companies are right now preparing to unveil their latest and greatest products at the annual CES convention. And who better to tell us all about it than our resident tech whiz, Trevor Long, who has dusted off his passport, Trev, and is in Las Vegas for us. Hello, how are you doing over there? Having fun? It's just... <laughs> it's a strange feeling to, to be on the other side of the world and have been on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We are very jealous sitting here on the couch with you over there. But look, COVID, COVID is, of course, causing chaos everywhere. What's the impact really on this event that you're at? It's been massive. Just in the last few weeks, there's normally, you know, 4,000 exhibitors here. They, they racked up about 2,000 they were going to have. And in the last few weeks, several have pulled out. If you look over my shoulder here, the show doesn't start until tomorrow, so they're still setting up here. Mm. Big empty spaces. That's what it looks like around the show floor. I would say 75% of the exhibit space is, is in use and the rest is empty. And that's a big challenge. Plus new rules and restrictions so I need to be double vaxxed to come in here we need to wear a mask anywhere outside of basically my studio here and they gave every single person who registered a, a, a rapid antigen test to use if we choose to if we get any symptoms so they're doing everything they can to be COVID safe. Smuggle those back with you make a pretty penny in Australia <laughs> Trev you probably pay for one of those brand new televisions they're advertising over there. That's right, and there's been a lot of new TV news. This is the place where TVs are announced. If I look at the big three companies, I think Hisense... Look, there's some really nice stuff from Hisense. Their ULED TVs are light, slightly better picture quality, but also personalised. So whoever's sitting down to watch it, you get the apps and the recommendations for you as opposed to just whoever last used the TV. I like that. Samsung have a beautiful new TV with great sound. It's, it's probably the best looking television out there, but they also have a calibration that allows you to actually use your mobile phone to ensure you're getting the perfect colours on the TV. So that's very nice. And LG have this interesting little portable television. So it's only a 27 inch TV. It's on a stand so you <laughs> could take it with you into the lounge room or into the kitchen and watch a recipe that's or handy. into the, the kids could take it into the bedroom, but it's on a three hour our battery. So they can't watch TV all night. Don't take that into the toilet. <laughs> People are going to do that. <laughs> the cricket's on, or the tennis is on. Maybe, and... maybe some. Um, now, Trevor, of course, you are like a kid in a candy store over there. Have you spotted some favourites? Yeah, we've had a look at a few. Uh, the first one I'll tell you about is a, a smart motorcycle helmet. Now, we've seen these before, but prototype, but this is real now. It's called the Tali. Now, it's got lights all around it, and those lights allow you to also be seen really well, but you can personalise yeah. them, so the colours that suit you. But when you brake on your motorbike, it's linked to your bike, so the brake light comes on on the back. And when you indicate, the indicators come on around the side of the helmet, like you're seeing there. So oh, that's cool. it's a very, very good idea, keeping people safe on mm. the roads, and a whole bunch of smart features as well, linking to your smart home. So that's cool the Tali Smart Bike Helmet. You get one of those for Sherry Lee and her <laughs> go-karting at the moment. You've also found some new gadgets for new parents. This is cool. Uh, a, a young mum came up with this idea for these things called cub tails. They're, they're little discs that you put one, say, at the change table. You put one in the, in the, near, the, near, the, near the cot. You put one where you would normally feed. And you can log things like feeds, nappy changes and sleep. So that in an app, you can then understand how the baby's going. Now, that might seem a bit weird, but for two parents that are working and kind of taking care of a baby, when was the last time we fed? How much have they slept? It's really good information. And they're just simple little gadgets that just clip onto the side of the change table and you get good data about your kids. Yeah, that is really smart stuff. Well, Trev, you're in for a hell of a ride and we'll chat with you tomorrow to find out what other crazy things there are over in Las Vegas. We appreciate your time this Have morning. Have fun. <laughs> Cheers, mate. It's a real adventure over there. <laughs> I bet it is. A few of those, though. <laughs>